Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Hey, let's have a look at this one. So we have a function 2 to the power of x. It asks find h inverse the inverse of h, and then we must verify that h inverse of h of x is the same as h of h inverse of x, which is the same as x. Okay, let's do the first part first. Find h inverse. Okay, so our h of x, of course there's many ways to write functions. I'm just taking a shorter way of writing it, is two to the power of x. And I'd like to find h inverse. So remember the rules. Write it in terms of y instead of your function name. Okay, we then need to write it in terms of x. Okay, and of course, x is a power here. So we need to write it in terms of logs to get at that x term. So you can either use the switch or use one of these two rules, however you wrap your head around. Um, logs and indices. So I'm going to do log to the base 2 here of 2 to the power of x. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I am getting log to the base 2 of y being equal to x. Okay, and then, or of course I can write it the other way around. Replace the y's with x and then write it using function terminology. So just the same way we went from h of x to y, we're now going to go backwards and use function terminology here, here instead of the x. Okay, so that is h inverse of x, log to the base two of x. So the next thing I need to do then is to verify that h inverse of h of x is equal to h, h inverse of x, which is equal to x. Okay. So h inverse of h of x. Okay, so I do h of x first. is 2 to the power of x. And of course, I'm going to feed that in now for my x term. Okay, so h inverse of h of x then becomes log to the base two, and instead of x, I'm putting in h of x, okay? So it becomes two to the power of x. So I'm gonna use the Q rule. So in other words, when I have a power, I'm gonna take it down in front. Okay, so I'm gonna take that x down in front, so it's x times log to the base two of two. If you pop on your calculator, or you may know the rule, log to the base two of two is one. So I'm going to get x for h inverse of h of x, okay? Which is exactly what I thought I would get, okay? And the reason for that, log to the base of the same number is always equal to one. Okay, so we've shown that that bit is equal to x, so that's good. Let's do it the other way around. So let's do the h, h inverse of x, and see do we also get x. So h inverse of x is equal to log to the base 2 of x. Okay, so then h, h inverse of x means I'm going to feed in this in for my x term in h of x. So I'm going to get 2 to the power of log to the base 2 of x. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest way to do this. Hmm, I 
can see it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so two and log two in that case cancels. And I'm left with just X. Sorry, I couldn't see that for a second. So you can see in that one, you also get X, which is what you would expect because in fact, what ends up happening is H in H inverse cancel and you're left with just whatever was your input into the function and the inverse function. Okay, so that question there is more like an exam question that would come up. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.